chemical weapons, demographic change, ethnic cleansing, systematic bombings and drones are part of the war machine that Turkey is deploying inside and outside its borders against the civilian population and the Kurdish militias, which turns its attacks into war crimes, while continuing with its policy of blackmailing Europe, using the refugees as bargaining chips to avoid pronouncements and sanctions against them. In Kurdistan, there is an organized people who are resisting not only against NATO's second largest army, but also against fratricidal collaborators, mass mercenaries and jihadists operating as support groups to Turkey. For these reasons, we call on people in solidarity with the Kurdish people to demonstrate wherever they are, in accordance with their own time zones and their own chosen modalities on June 11, 2022 to repudiate the imperial and repressive policy of the Turkish state. We also call to defend the revolutionary process initiated in Kurdistan, whose paradigm is based on the liberation of women, direct democracy and ecological life as expressions of a free society. A social revolution in all areas of life which aspires to eradicate the patriarchal capitalist and colonial mentality of societies and which has become an inspiration for movements around the world that fight for liberation and for the right to self-determination of the peoples. Statement by Abiy Ayala, the Latin American